Brand new heat in the lineup now. Jordy Smith taking on Tomas Hermes and Ian Gouveia. Jordy looking to get that winning feeling going this year. Had the heat with Carmichael at Bells where he came in a little bit unhappy with that result. So he's got a bit of fire coming into this event. Driving through this first section. Gouveia's got to step up. I just kind of was pounding out there, just kind of gathering information every minute as I go. So uh, I got that wave and I just was, you know, to me that was just a, a success, just getting a complete wave and, and getting a really nice barrel out and working. And also escaping round two the first time this season that you've been able to do that. And with waves like that, that's got to give you confidence. That was one of the years he beat John John Florence at the main break. Getting caught up with this one, Ian Govea getting the completion, trying to slam on the brakes again. Gets shoved down the line and jams it off the lip. Another big section to climb. Let's take another look. Yeah, well, you know, uh, you kind of got to get straight into it, and that's what he did. You know, you can see how he fought his way into that barrel straight from the get-go. In front of the foam ball was Govea. Back to live action. Tomas up and up. Jordy had the one five before, so it's Govea still leading keeping your mind competitively on for a long time through three big events to the Australian Lake. You can feel the fatigue. Having a look now is Ian Govea just searching down the line. He gets out of there. White capping out the back is the next wave. Jordy Smith has priorities and starts to bowl up. Clean takeoff, big cavern. Smith, nice and deep. Spit out of the first oh. section and the next one takes him down. The big man on tour, making it look easy on that first section, Potts. Keep that excitement at bay, trying to put yourself in the right place, the right time. You can see Jordy takes off super late. Doesn't go all the way to the bottom. Why? Because he's got to sneak straight into that barrel, double section, and then that end section just running away from him. It's unfortunate there for Jordy Smith, but again, just that free fall drop straight into the barrel. He's done that a bunch of times. Does exactly what to do and hangs on for dear life, but unfortunately the wave not cooperating on that occasion. The Margaret River is definitely one of those. It's kind of like Hawaii in a sense where you've got to bring everything. Smith now looks to recover from the score of a 2-5, up and out. So we used to have boards up into the seven-foot range. Beat leader, you go there. Priority with Tomas Sermes, he's wearing blue. Fading a little bit through the inside. Jordy Smith back of the line for priority, so he'll take this way. A ton of speed, wants the lift to project off of and he won't get it here. Smith definitely one of those surfers that's put in some time at North Point. From Baja Vela, over in Brazil, the rookie, late takeoff. Misses that first section to pull in. And now has to get out. Well, you gotta get straight into that thing. You cannot afford to go to the bottom of the wave. You've almost got to take off and, and almost angle your board into it. He's winding up, though. He's getting comfortable, and I cannot wait. As you see these waves peeling through. Are you kidding me? It's beautiful out here. Govez turn. Draws out the bottom turn. Now looks to pull in. Has the rail. Still looking over the foam ball. Wow. Now above the lip. Oh. Throws it away in the flats. An awkward... Landing on the air for Govea. Was still celebrating from that tube ride. But he's already getting back to business. That's the best wave of the heat so far, Joe. 417 was his other one. Let's have a look here as he takes off. Draws off the bottom, sets that rail. Now he grabs it and pulls up tight. Driving through that section and comes out nice and clean. And then goes for, oh, an almost a dangerous uh, maneuver there towards the end. But let's have a look as he slides off the bottom here tucks up nice and high and grabs the rail but i'll tell you what that was a beautiful technique there from Ian Gavale. didn't need to do that further down the line jordy smith looks like he's trying to ramp up here comes the wedge full rotation alley-oop ends up running out of room for the completion well, needs a 2.61, Joe. Uh, didn't quite ride out of that, as you said. Best wave so far continues with Tomas Hermes now. 
And Tomas just buckling over his board in transition. After making that barrel ride, still second. Even though he's got the high number of the matchup, Tomas with the windup for a massive punt, he's incomplete. 7-6-7 seven, seven puts Jordy in second, now just needing a 3.0 for the lead. He'll do a lot of damage, Jordy Smith though, needs a big score, here we go. Late takeoff for Smith, now pulls in. Great positioning for Jordy, gets a big drive off the bottom and comes flying out. Layback hack and able to get the completion. And look at the drop from Jordy Smith and then just straight up under the hood. Perfect positioning. Watch when he comes out of this wave. Look how low he gets, Joe, and drives through that next section. As you said, Jordy Smith, a lot of experience out here. Knows how to ride this wave. And absolutely nailed. He just wanted the rotation in his favor to pack a gem. 7-6-7. Seven, seven. Jordy's up again. Ooh, just hopping out real quick. Even just short rides, you can tell the power of this wave at North Point. These guys don't have to try too hard to get speed after his injury. So he's had some decent success here in the West. Time of the look now is Tomas Hermes. Needing a 9-5 for the lead. And just searching for something to work with. Finally getting a ramp. They'll get blown out the back there. Hermes had a great start to the season on the Gold Coast and gets the completion. Govan needs an answer. Late takeoff. Slams on the brakes. Needs to get a big barrel here, but he's not going to get it. Reaches off the lip for a backside snap. Govan knows he needed a big barrel there to answer to Jordy Smith. Smith only needed a 3.0 to take the lead, now under four minutes to go. Yeah, again right there for Ian Gavaya. Didn't slide straight in, which he's been doing. I mean, if, had he slid straight into that barrel, I, I guarantee he would have got it a lot deeper, but deciding to go down and then try and wipe the speed off. This way he's pushing you along so fast, Joe. So much power, like you said. Right, and then Ian Gavaya. See how he drops down to the bottom and kind of missed that whole section. And he slowed himself down and slid right in from the takeoff. It's easier for me to say sitting here in the booth, but that's... So maybe an opportunity gone begging right there for uh, Ian Gavaya. Tomas now. 3.30 to go. Hermes pulls Ooh. in and gets ejected down the line. Let's have a look. Now he sort of sets it up, drives into the barrel. Perfect positioning right there. And then this turn here as well, just a big hack. The free fall drop. Winning that trial, sudden death heat. He's coming up next. Packing this pit and getting chucked over the falls is Ian Govea. Down to two minutes. Last to Jordy Smith. A 4.5. Never needed a three, so gets that lead. Govea now fighting for a 5.68. Working with his coach, Chris Gallagher, who was the first non-Australian to win the Marga River Pro way back in the day. And Jordy just takes this way with 10 seconds on the clock. Driving down the line, looking for a full rotation. He's hung up. That one's not going to factor in, but Smith kicks out with the buzzer. To skip right into round three, Tomas and Govea will be reseated in the second round. Up next, Owen Wright takes on Jack Robinson and Miguel Pupo. We'll bring in Ronnie Blakey and Peter Mel for the call.